welcome to today's quick Facebook tutorial on a perfect eye look for when you wear black clothing. I don't know about you, but I find myself wearing black probably more than any other color because it's more slimming. So we are going to be using these colors here. We have ourselves a nice brown. We have a shimmery um, cream color. We have a matte cream color and a gray. We're also going to be using two tools today. One of them is going to be a liner shader brush and the second is going to be a fluffy crease brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids. I like to prime my eyelids personally with a little bit of concealer. Just pop a little on there and then grab a blending bud and just blend it out. Now, be aware if you use concealer to as a primer, um, it will crease. So you wanna use it and then get a powder on the top of it, which we're using eyeshadow, so it's gonna be great. Then we are going to start with our um, brown shade. I will list all the shades in the comments in case you are wanting to grab it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and just lightly get our crease color, okay? This is, or the transition color, sorry. So I like to use a brown as a transition because it just, it plays really well, um, especially with the black and it's nice and neutral. So it's gonna look great on everybody and it's super simple to do. So we're kind of just going on the outer edge of the eye and then down a little bit here so that you have that really nice soft transition. Now, the reason I love this particular brush is because not only can you put the product down, but it's gonna blend out really, really easily. The next color that we're gonna come in here is with the oyster color. Um, and so that is just a really nice matte, um, kind of a grayish brown, white color. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm gonna use the, the shader part of my liner shader brush, and we are just going to go ahead and pat this on the lid. Now you'll notice I'm patting versus swiping. That's going to help with fallout, meaning all the, any powder that comes up on your face, and it's just gonna really make that color nice and pigmented. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna come back in with that liner, or excuse me, with the fluffy crease brush. I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit of that brown and blend this back in together because I got a little crazy there. Okay, and then really nice. I am kind of going back and forth in like little circular motions to get it blended in really nicely. Okay, the next thing that we are going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab the liner shader brush again um, and we're gonna grab this slate gray. Now this particular one is a matte. You could do a matte or a shimmer. And we're gonna focus just here on the outside of the eye. So I'm gonna create like a V, actually like a number seven. And we're just gonna do the outer corner of the lid here. And that's just gonna give a little bit of the darkness, but also keep your eye nice and open. So you don't wanna overdo it here on the outer corner, but I'm just kind of, I put it in like a number seven and then fill that in. So it's just like a nice little triangle. Now, if you did a V, the V would make your eye look a little bit, instead of the color going up like this and kind of making your eyes look a little more awake, if you do a V, it's gonna kind of make your eyes go down a little bit. So that's why I like to do the number seven versus a V. Okay, super simple. Other side. Go ahead and pick up that brush. I'm gonna get any excess off of there and we're just gonna lightly kind of blend this in. So I'm just here on the lid, I'm just kind of lightly going like kind of tapping it because I don't want to pull it all over the eye. And then over here, we'll just kind of light circles around to blend it into that color. So again, tapping here on the lid because I don't want to pull the cover over color over the top of the eyelid shade. And then out here, we'll just blend it till it's nice and blended in. If you need to pick up a little bit more of the tan, you can definitely do that and it'll help get everything blended in nicely. And I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm using that fluffy crease brush. We're gonna go ahead and just put it right here and then pop it up on the brow bone. And that's just gonna kind of help highlight it. It's gonna really draw attention to the eyes and make the eyebrows really stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish up my face really quick and then I'm gonna show you how to really pop the lip or what advice to give with the lip color. Okay, so a quick cut in here. You will notice that I put my eyeshadow on before I put my foundation on. And the reason for that is because I want it to be really nice and clean in case there's any fallout or anything like that. So when you apply foundation, if you do it in this order, you may notice that you need to kind of blend everything in again. It's super simple to come in. You just, as soon as you get your foundation on, you'll just come back in with that blending brush and blend it out and then you're not gonna have any lines or harshness.
gonna go ahead and give you a couple fun tips about this look and why it's one of my favorites. The first thing is, is that you can do any lip with it because it's gonna match everything. It's nice and neutral, yet still makes that pop statement um, while being subtle. There's basically a couple different ranges you can go in. You can do a nice like nude. With this one, I'm doing kind of like a plum nude. Um, you could go bright and do something as fun as like a hot pink. You could also go with like a red, a darker color. What I'm basically saying here is that it will work with any color. Go ahead and use this matte plum shade here, which is one of my favorites. Now, these liquid lipsticks are awesome because they're super creamy and moisturizing and not drying at all. And they're long wearing, which is great. Okay, so that was my tutorial on how to do a super simple eye anytime you're wearing black clothing that you know is going to look fabulous. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If it was, feel free to uh, share with your friends. I hope you all have a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in.